life is it more than just a dream? Hello there, people of the internet. My name is DJBC. Today we're here to do another video. So this week's video is a bit of a tutorial video. Um, I've never really done a tutorial video before, but I'm going to try to do one today. Hopefully, it's a pretty simple tutorial. So this tutorial is actually how to uh, edit your own overlay. Now, notice that I said the word edit and not make. I'm editing a pre-existing overlay instead of making one. If you want to learn how to make one, I suggest look something else up because this is just basically how to edit a currently existing overlay. If you guys don't want to know what an actual overlay is, uh, here is an example of an overlay. So. If you guys can't tell, my name is on the top, uh, and I do have some links down below. Um, it basically just makes your videos look a little bit more professional, a little bit more, uh, just higher quality, I guess. Um, so what this is good for is pretty much good for, uh, it's really good for COD. It's good for streaming COD, like, with your Elgato or with, um, OBS, wait, whoa, OBS, um, which is what I'm using to record this video right now. Um, it's also good for streaming like GTA because there's not much in the middle at the middle of the screen in the top or in the bottom like down here up here because if there is stuff in the top like look at my screen uh, whoa that's not what I wanted to do Jesus um, like right now my OBS is a, is uh, under the BC thing it's it's kind of annoying sometimes if there's stuff under it so maybe you should look into that before you start streaming and recording with stuff like that but um we're not going to talk about that right now we're going to talk about making it so get this off my screen first of all there we go okay so first thing you're going to want to do uh if you don't have elgato software already installed like let's say um you're doing this for obs uh i suggest you either look up uh a, a template for I think there's a way to do it, probably. Google Images. Um, let's do like that. Uh, Google Images YouTube Overlay Template. So, there are free overlays and stuff like that. Obviously, there's ways to get some. Right here, that's, that's a pretty decent one. Um, here's another one. Uh, if you want to just, I don't, I just don't suggest you just blatantly put stuff over these, but if you want to, then do it, I guess. I'm not controlling you, but if you already have the Elgato software installed, you should already have them. So if you go into your local disk, your program files times 86, and then uh, Elgato, like this, mine isn't in here, but yours should be, if you guys put your file in a different spot on your computer, then it will be there instead. Uh, mine's right here, second drive. Uh, and you go to overlays, there's a file called overlays. Uh, you double click on that, go to images, um, you will find a bunch of these. So I'm actually going to use the Elgato Ultimate 2 for this tutorial. Another one that I found pretty uh, good that would work very well is the Elgato Headshot 2. Very simple, you can just add in your uh, whatever you want right there into those links. But for this one, I'm going to use the Elgato Ultimate 2. So, um, that's also uh, this one that you see here. Um, so, first of all, what we're going to want to do is you're going to want to copy this. Where is it? Uh, right here. Uh, just copy it and paste it onto your desktop or wherever, I guess, wherever you can find it easily. Now you're going to want to uh, install, if you don't already have, maybe Photoshop, if you don't already have Photoshop, maybe, uh, or if you don't have paint.net, or you could even use paint if you really wanted to. It wouldn't look as good, but you could do it. Um, you can install paint.net, which is the way I'm going to do this. Um, so there will be a link in the description. You just install it. There's a download button. Very simple. It's free, 100% free. I'm not pirating anything. The next thing you want to do if you are downloading paint.net then you will grab your plugins um right here is a link will be in the description as well um basically the thing with those plugins is once you download those those are basically all the plugins you need for editing photos basic like basic editing uh you really don't need much else unless you're doing something like crazy um very simple uh there's a link there's a button to download those and it's an installer so it just automatically installs into your paint.net so there's no hassle so, you're going to want to double click on paint.net once you get all that installed, real easy, um, and it will look like this, actually it will look more like this, um, like, like that, something like that, um, 
I normally don't have these two history and tools up, but I'll, I'll leave them up for this tutorial, for the sake of the tutorial. So what we're going to do is we're going to shrink this box a little bit and just drag it in and you can hit open or you could, if you really wanted to, you can open a file from the corner up here. Um, so this is basically what comes up. I don't know why it's doing that. It's kind of freaking out a little bit. <laughs> for some reason I can do this and it will. Okay. I'm not even clicking anything, honestly. It's just doing that on its own. Okay, so I clicked off and it changed. Okay, perfect. No more glitches. Cool. So, now this is basically where it's 100% up to you. You can change the color of it all. You can change the little logos down here at the bottom. I'm just going to change the color of it really quick. So, if you want to do that, you go to the paint tool over here in the tools. You can also click down if this... if. Uh, Oh. If this menu isn't here, you can just uh, like click down this down drop bar, drop bar, and it is the same thing. So click the paint bucket, and then for color, I'm gonna change it to this darker gray, pre-existing one. Now you're just gonna simply click, 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 click on all the parts that are gray. If you want to change it the color to something else, then do it. It's up to you, obviously. This is yours, not mine. Uh, so click all those, and then. You're gonna want to go to down here to shapes at the bottom, or it's at the bottom of this too. Uh, rectangle, make sure it's on rectangle. I'm gonna sneeze. Uh, and draw filled shape. Once you do draw filled shape, um, you're going to want to hit Control and Plus, and that zooms in. Really cool shortcut that uses that works for Photoshop, I think too. Really great. Uh, and then you just want to draw a box over the Facebook and the Twitter logos. If you want the Facebook and Twitter logos, obviously you do not do that. It's pretty self-explanatory. Um, so we're gonna do that. Zoom out. Well, it's Control minus to zoom back out, by the way. Or you could just do it down here. Um, now for the out dye, the outer line color, you can do whatever you want. I'm I've already done like blue and red well obviously it's blue red and green so i'm gonna do like a maybe a darker purple that would be kind of cool so click on that and all that should go at once which is kind of nice and then uh we're gonna zoom in a little bit you know control plus just to zoom in a little bit and click here and here so there's all that now if you want it to look a bit more you know how it did before you put it in the editor where you can see through it a little bit you simply make sure your background is selected Eff no you go not effects layers layer properties aka f4 you can also hit f4 and it does the same thing and i like to put mine down to about mm, 230 ish that probably is a good number. You can also change it if you're using the Elgato settings. You can also change the opacity while uh, while in the, the Elgato itself. So that really shouldn't like bother you that much. Now you can add a layer in the layer selection here. Always add a layer if you're going to add text because if you don't add a layer, then the whole thing will move. If you try to move just the text, like the whole entire image will move and it's a whole fucking mess. So I'm going to use... Uh, I'm going to use the bold font for this. Uh, that's literally what it's called. It's called the bold font. But if you want a different font, simply go to the link in the description. Uh, and it is thefont.com. My favorite font site for any, like, your font needs. I, that was kind of dumb. But you can do a bunch of stuff. There's a bunch of different categories and stuff like that. If you want a font, download it and install it. Uh, but I'm going to use the bold font, which I did get off the site, by the way. So if you want to look it up, then it is there. So, first of all, you're going to want this to be white, not purple. Uh, you're going to want to change your right, whatever you want, preferably your name at the top. Uh, let's put this to like, not 72, 72 is way too big. I was thinking more like 48. Okay, that's a little bit too much still. I want to do like 44. That's probably good. So, move select to pixels, you can just move the text if you didn't have... If you only had one layer, then the whole entire background will move like this. Woo! And it doesn't, it's fucking dumb. Um, so, now if you want to center that text, uh, you simply go to effects. Make sure that, so, let's say uh, I click this. Um, you don't want that like this. You want to, if you're trying to align objects, you want to click up here the deselect button. Uh, there's a little X with like a square. Uh, and then go to object align and horizontally 
uh, align. That was the word I was looking for. Now, um, so there's that. So that is perfectly in the center now. If I want, I'm going to move it down a little bit. Just a tiny bit. Like that. Okay. Probably didn't move it at all, but who cares. Um, now, we're going to do the bottom two. So... Now we're gonna to wanna to put some logos in. So again, if you wanna to go to defont.com, uh, there is one called Media Circle, Me Media Spheres. I don't remember what it's called. Media, new media. Um, social, I'm an idiot, I'm an idiot. No, don't do that. Social. There we go, socials type. Um, no, it was social shapes. That's what I wanted. That's the one I got, I think. So it's one of these, you can just download these. They're free, they work just like text. It's very easy to use. So I'm gonna go to the text tool and go to minus social shapes, okay. Um, so that is that. So, and I think if you hold shift, yeah, then they're bigger, I guess. So, I'm going to actually do Instagram for this one, just because I haven't done it yet. Let's just, uh, let's get a little bit zoomed in there. So, this is a bit too big for the box, if you can't tell. I'm going to do like 28, maybe? Yeah, 28 seems pretty good. This actually works really well because it's just like it, they kind of go together, I guess, with like the uh, the shapes and stuff. So there's that one, and then we'll make another one, new layer, of course. I'm gonna click and ooh, those are weird. Um, um, okay, there's the YouTube one, so we'll use that one. those look those look pretty good so now we will do the same thing again add a new layer text and uh, go back to the bold font and this one is official TTK clan obviously very large and it shouldn't be maybe like 18 That's too big still. 16, probably. Yeah, okay, that's better. Just kind of center that the best that you can, and then add another one. And this one is official TK kind as well. Probably could have just copied the layer, but I'm going to do it differently. Um, yeah, like that. And now you're done. So, and then control minus. that so that's basically it that's all you got to do now what i'm going to do next is i'm going to export this and we're going to put it into elgato and obs i'll show you guys how to do both so let's do file save as um desktop and we're going to change this to a png make sure it's a png whatever editing software you're using make sure it's a png if it's not a png if it's a jpeg it will fuck everything up so make sure it's a png so it mine is a PNG, I'll just do, uh, name it tutorial, tutorial, save, okay, flatten, and exit out of that. So, now I have this image, it looks like this. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to, I'll do OBS first since it is open right here. Um, just gonna delete this, well not rename, remove, uh, so let's do right click on sources uh, we're gonna add we're gonna add an image and i'm just gonna rename this uh overlay instead of image now you're gonna browse go to your desktop or wherever you put your file um and mine is right here then you hit okay and then it's there it is so if you hit this check mark it turns it on and off very simple um and that's that so uh, next thing 
is Elgato. So let's open up Elgato. So my PS4 is not on, so it will probably freak out and say like, oh, your console is not on. If you have first go into Elgato and you haven't done anything yet, there will be a little bar right here. This is stream command. You're going to click on this little arrow. It goes up. And when you first get in here, if you haven't edited any overlays or anything like that, this should, I'm waiting for it to detect signal. There we go. This should um, not be there like this. Just reset the default. It should just be like this. Um, so what we want to do is we want to edit scenes, go on the one that doesn't have anything on it, which is the first one should be, uh, and then click on this add overlays. Then you want to go under image and add image and then go to wherever, um, wherever your image is and then like this. So now if you want to go here to opacity, you can uh, turn it down, see how transparent the image actually is uh, up and down. Very easy to use. Um, I, mean, I would normally do like about there, like three quarters of the way. Probably a smart idea. Um, and this is all for webcam stuff stuff like that and then we're going to click save here like save scenes and then it's done now if you have that selected and you start recording or streaming with your elgato it should automatically come up and that's it it's that simple guys and that's basically the end of the tutorial um obviously it's up to you it's really up to you uh you can mix and match you can do whatever you want be creative obviously it's your video your life your channel do what you want to do and anyways guys that's going to be it i hope you guys enjoyed make sure to like subscribe maybe i'll do some more tutorials like this in the future maybe like more editing tutorials like photoshop like this kind of stuff um stuff like that uh maybe more uh videos maybe how to like edit video stuff i don't know but anyways, guys, that's going to be it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to like and subscribe if you did. And peace.